Thousands of miles away, far from an idyllic beachfront along the Jersey Shore, rifle shots rang out and bombs exploded. It was 1942 and the world was gripped in the greatest struggle it had ever known. On a cold, deserted beach in the small town of Harvey Cedars on Long Beach Island, New Jersey, a young girl walked along, picking shells and gazing toward the horizon. Her imagination, alive with the stories she had heard about the great conflict, she scanned the skyline as the sun set on a lonely winter beach. These moments marked the beginnings of this young girl's love affair with history, maritime life, past, and present on the Long Beach Island. Pooch was a woman highly respected, but also feared. I bet if there's a, a, a lady of LBI, uh, it, it's Pooch Buckholz. Some seven decades later, the Cultural Heritage Commission of Ocean County is honoring Margaret Pooch Buckholz with a Lifetime Achievement Award for her work in preserving the history of Ocean County, and more specifically, the history of Long Beach Island. I know Long Beach Island has a magic to it. I just, it's just nice knowing from my kitchen window I can see the beach and I just like that feeling. We're not all so different, but, uh, but we like to think, think those of us that live here on the island are, are a little, little special. <laughs> Through this entire life journey, Pooch has called the island her home. It's been her home through the good and the bad, through the activity of the summer seasons, the solitude of the winters, and through the violence of the storm seasons. It's the proverbial paradox. It can be paradise and it can be hell. <laughs> it's a rough place in the winter. You, not everybody can take it here in the winter. Are we going to face storms in the future with the damaging effects of Sandy and the 62 storm and the 44 hurricane? Absolutely. It's the price you pay for living in paradise. To all of these times, she has brought the keen eye and intuitive perception of an experienced writer to recall events and paint the landscape of life on the island for others to experience. She's made a lot of people aware of the history, the interesting history here, whether it's a personal story or a historical fact. Pooch began to chronicle the life and times of Long Beach Island during the years she owned and operated the local news publication, The Beachcomber. And those of us who worked for Pooch, she was, she was tough, tough as nails. So working with her was like having the answer to just about any LBI question that, that came along. And in doing so, uh, I absorbed a lot of it because she would give the fullest answer, the, 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 more, the, the deeper meaning. Pooch worked hard reporting on events and people. This unique opportunity allowed her to hone her skills as a writer. I went to work for the Sandpaper as an editor and started writing books. Great Storms of the Jersey Shore, New Jersey Shipwrecks, Shore Chronicles, Seasons in the Sun, it's about Harvey Cedars. These works include topics that range from a unique view of island life to the mysteries that lie beneath the surface, which hold gems of history hidden deep in the Atlantic. You'll also find intriguing tales of Nazi U-boats skimming the shoreline, while islanders felt the rush as U.S. aircrafts guard overhead. We're all making sure that her knowledge is preserved for future generations. Next time you find yourself on the island, riding down the iconic Long Beach Boulevard, stop at a restaurant, a fishing dock, a museum. Start up a conversation with a local and mention Pooch Buckholz. Watch their eyes light up as they recall a tale of one of the true legends of LBI. I have a great deal of respect for Margaret Buckholz and, and always will. If there is a voice for LBI and the LBI history, it's Pooch. <laughs>